draw a line. What am I doing? Oh, I'm going to select it. Okay, we'll draw a line. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And there is our color and line weight, etc. And with our drawing at the moment, the um, the dash on the line is actually a little bit too small for us to see. So what we will do is we will zoom in. We will hit Z for zoom and E for extents, which will bring our square up. And I don't know if you can see it there, so we may have to zoom a little bit more. Maybe I'll come across to this to this guy over here. Where is it? Go. There he is. You can see that the line is dashed there. So it is a dashed line, it's just the dashing is pretty small. We can change that depending on what type of drawing we want. But because this is just a generic drawing, I haven't worried about that. And beautiful, there's our square again. Okay, now I'm going to show you a use where the layers will come in handy. Delete that fella there. And I will go and I will create some new layers okay so we'll delete this layer we don't really want that one delete that one delete that one fly and there we go it's all gone okay now I will create a new layer and we are going to make let's just say a table with a glass top okay so we will create a layer first for the we'll make it table wood and we'll also make a new layer for ooh, table glass and the good thing about writing the table and then the underscore is that we can use the filters and we can filter out all the layers that may be used for, let's say, the table, which is good. Okay, now we will change our wood to a nice wood-looking colour, <laughs> which, there we go, that, that, that looks like a wood colour to me. Actually, yeah, we'll just go that. Okay and it will be a continuous line and the line weight we will make one mil okay and there we go so we want it to plot etc okay and now we will make our glass we will make it a nice blue color and okay and we want the line again to be continuous and we want the line weight we will make a little bit thinner hit OK and there we go so hit apply OK so first we are going to draw our wood layer so we choose wood from our table now we will just I'll actually just draw it in a rectangle so there like that. And we will zoom in, Z, extents, brings it up. Okay, so here's our table. Now we're going to put a glass top. Actually, what I might do, if I zoom out a little bit, and I might make it a wooden frame. So we will draw. the wooden frame and we'll have the glass sit on top of the frame. There we go. So there's our wooden frame. Okay, there we go. And now we will make the glass just sit over the top of that frame. So we will choose our glass layer. And we will choose and we will just make it sit directly over the top. So there we go. So that there is where, where our boundaries of our glass are. So now, if we just want to see the wood layer, any layers that are wood, we what we do is we freeze, which is this one here, this little yellow sun, we freeze the glass layer. 
So to freeze the glass layer, we just go to our Properties Manager, we click OK and we freeze the glass. We choose the little sun and it turns into like an ice flake for freeze, hit apply, OK, there we go, it's just the wood layers. And if we want to ch change, say, the wood layer, what we do is we go into properties. Now we have to take the current off wood, so we have to make the current glass. Why isn't that working? Oh, hold on. Okay, so we make this one the current. Isn't going to work. What we'll do is we'll just change down here. Oh, it's frozen, that's why it can't become the current layer. I forgot about that. Okay, so we will unfreeze it first and then we'll make it the current layer. And now we change wood to frozen, which means it won't show up in the diagram. Apply. And there we go, it's just the glass layer. So that shows us what our specifications for the glass are. And we can again go back, we can unthaw that. We can have our full diagram. Basically, that's it for this layers tutorial. Um, I hope you're getting a lot out of the course and we will see you with the next layers tutorial in about two days time. Okay, bye bye.